calling me ugly Yo, calling me fat Well, you must love my ass Cause you keep on coming back With a brand new mask And that's facts Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, guys, you know, you know when, when our man Upchurch puts out one of these videos, we gotta react to it. You know what I'm saying? This one being called Gay Uh People Ask Me Stuff and a palm tree. And yes, we definitely got to get into this one because I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram. Um, some of you may know that um, that uh, a certain southern singer, we'll just say, um, decided to uh, accuse me of being a homophobe. And you know who I'm talking to if you're watching this. And this is the same person who uh, I'll give you a little, little bit of a hint as to who I'm talking about. This is the same person, right? And before I say this, please understand I am not jumping ship. I am not switching sides because obviously the person, obviously because the, what, what I'm trying to get at is that um, this person whose first song, right? This person who decided to introduce um, us to herself. Yes, it is her. It is a her. Decided to introduce herself to us by going in on someone who is a known lesbian. And so, and took some shots at the way this girl lives her life. Now, again, I'm not, this doesn't mean I'm jumping ship. I'm switching sides because the, the girl, the lesbian, if you will, that was taking shots from this person. Um, obviously, she's no, she's no one to be, um. To be going up to bat for little miss queen nothing no yeah i'm talking about you um but this person who took shots at her in her very first song is i'm um, starting to raise my guard up with her because she's proving to me that she's no better because how are you gonna go and accuse me or anyone for that matter of being a homophobe when your first song was firing shots at a lesbian and you took some little digs at the way she lives her life. A homophobe is as a homophobe does. So be a little careful with who you accuse of being a homophobe. Might want to look in the mirror and ask yourself, what was my first song? Who did I go in on? You know what I mean? What was the kind of person I went in on? And so therefore, who am I to accuse somebody else of being something that I may be? The I being said singer. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to react to this and give my insights as I always do. So without further ado, this is from our man Ryan Up Church. With his vlog called Gay People Ask Me Stuff. Without further ado, I'd like to hit here go. They have a question, I have an answer. Why is my sexuality a lifestyle? I don't call your sexuality nothing. I don't know you. Why do you... Well, maybe some of us refer to it that way because we don't know any better. You know, it's... Maybe it's something that's new to some of us. But either way, who cares? It's your life. Live it how you like. I don't give a fuck. 
Do you call it a lifestyle? I don't know you either. Like choosing to wear a dress? He lives by the beach. That's his lifestyle. So your sexuality is a vacation spot? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get that either. So if I switch, so if I change my life around, that means I'd be on vacation? Um, if, if that's what a vacation looks like, then no, no, no offense, but um, yeah, I, I'll I'll stay working. Bruh. Understand? It's not really a lifestyle. It's just my life. Yeah, but it's a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with me, so I don't care. Why is it that? That goes double for me. I don't give a shit. I gives no fucks. That when you find out that I'm gay, you think that I want you. Well, if I know you're gay, then I would assume that you're into gay guys. And if you know I'm straight, then why? I wouldn't think that. Pretty much. I mean, like the man said, hey, if you're gay, that's cool. Do you. You know what I mean? You stay in your lane. I stay in my lane. No problem. You, you respect my space. I respect your space. You know what I'm saying? As long as you respect the fact that I'm a heterosexual, then hey, I got no problems with you being a homosexual. That's your thing. Do you? I'm not gay. Standards, first of all. Everyone has a type. You might not be their type. Well, yeah. Of course, uh, I'm not their type. Yeah, I mean, I like to think so. Okay. Cool. As long as we're on the same page, we all good type i like titties don't flatter yourself me too me too i like titties and i like the kitty if you know what i mean oh. your questions suck ass <laughs> why are you so worried about how i'm gonna have kids what you think straight people just walk around like hmm look at that gay person over there i wonder how they're gonna have kids got my own shit going on okay i'm not worried about if you're gonna have babies or not like what the fuck pretty sure they have a uh, um adoption centers you know what i mean so I'm pretty sure you got that all figured out. You know what I mean? You want to, like I said, I don't care what life you, you choose to live. As long as you're a good person and you want to have a kid, hey, go to an adoption center and go adopt a kid. Cool. I can respect that. No problem. If anybody's wondering, like, hmm, I wonder if they're going to have babies because they're gay. Somebody's doing that. They're ha they got too much fucking time on their hands. Why does it matter if I'm gonna have kids or not? It don't. Technically, the world is overpopulated and me not reproducing is helping you out. You really, really trying to turn your, your, your gayness into like a superpower? Like, okay, we get it. You, you have sex with other women. Who cares? It doesn't mean you're like, hello, I am, I am here. I am a lesbian woman. And I, I, my non-reproduction is saving the ozone layer. <laughs> the way we live our life is um is controlling the population. We're trying to keep the population at a lower number so that way there's no more pollution or other uh issues that our planet faces. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you so much for your contribution or lack thereof. Me being gay saves your life. Oh yeah, bow to the gay women. They're like this gay lesbian superhero fucking underlayer in Alaska somewhere that has a bunch of glowy crystals. I got like a fucking ring like the Green Lantern and y'all meet up somewhere. Oh Janice, is your ring dinging? Mine is. Let's go to the crystal cave. Why are we going to the crystal cave? Is there something wrong? We haven't been. One of twin powers activate. <laughs> I probably aged myself with that joke. Oh well. Been gay enough today. We have to go be mega gay with all the other superhero lesbians. If I want to have kids, um, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Well, it's not a fucking riddle. You just, you know, be a decent member of society and go adopt a kid. Like the fuck, dude. Real. For real. Like I said, I, I I would respect you. I don't care. I mean, I would respect you if you went out of your way and you adopt a kid and provided a kid. A, a home. You know what I'm saying? No judgment here. Cool. You want to adopt a kid? Hey, you're a wonderful human being. There you go. Positive judgment.
How about that? Real shit, I bet the gay community watched these questions and was like, we don't ask shit like that. Why? I, I agree. Um, Cause like I said, on my Instagram, I do have members in my family who are gay, right? And they're not the ones going out of the way and just shoving that in your face or whatever. No, they just, they just want to be treated like everyone else. They just want to live their lives like everyone else. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just happen to be this or that. But hey, you know what? I just want to live my life. So, hey, I'm going to mind my business. I'm going to go do my thing. You do you. See? Folks like that, that's who I respect more. Everyone else who feels this need of having to shove that shit in your face. You know what I mean? And and tells you that you you have to respect them. Because of that, to those people, I say, fuck you, okay? You want to live your life, however, you want to live your life a certain way, fine, whatever, just do you, okay? But don't make that be all of who you are, because you are more than that. There's more to you than that, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever, it is what it is. Why do you feel the need to ask who's the man and who's the woman in the relationship? Okay, um, I don't see any straight dude asking gay dudes which one is the man. I don't think... Pretty much, because I mean, who gives a shit? I don't care who's the pitcher, I don't care who's the catcher. That's none of my business. It doesn't matter if you're straight, gay, bi, les, whatever the case. I don't care. Your relationship is just like everyone else's relationship. It's none of my business. It ain't got nothing to do with me, so it's none of my business. Like I said, you do your thing. Have fun. I think we want to even know that. That's, that's, that's really none of our business. Trust me. Last I checked, we were both women. That's why we're together. Both have lady parts. As far as two chicks, uh, no offense, but we can kind of tell which one is... The more dominant one when we look sometimes. Pretty much. I mean, as far as physical features and also by like how they carry themselves, their character. We can tell who's the dominant one in the relationship. I'm just saying. Unless you are both girly. <clears throat> and then if a guy's asking you that, he's probably trying to like, you know, be like, hey, are y'all like down for stuff? That's probably what he's doing. Hey! <laughs> don't take no advice on lesbians from me. I obviously don't know shit. I see what he did there. Don't ask no advice about lesbians to him because obviously he don't know shit. I see what you did there, right? Why do you get offended when people ask if you're gay? I don't get offended. I'm just wondering why in the fuck you asking me that? Why would you be offended that someone thinks you're gay? I, I, like I said, I don't get offended. I just kind of look down and see what I'm wearing just to kind of like evaluate myself. Maybe people just don't like being assumed that there's something that they're not. I mean, if... <clears throat> okay, let's say you're like these people here, right? You're, you're, you're gay, you're asking these questions, whatever. How would you feel... If someone were to assume that you're straight, would you be offended? Now, they say they wouldn't be, but actions speak louder than their words. If you got to tell us that you wouldn't be offended, it's not us you're trying to convince. It's yourself. Actions speak louder than words always. If we assume that you're straight, obviously we could tell like, hey, look, you're not bothered by it too much because of the way you carry yourself. By, through your actions. Same thing for those of us who are straight. You assume that we're gay. I mean. I don't care. That's what you thought. But I'm letting you know. That's not who I am. That's not what I'm into. It is what it is. I don't get offended when people think I'm straight. Okay. Do you want to cook? Sure you don't. Okay. How does it feel to be accurately represented in... Everything. Uh, by, uh, sorry, uh, by the look on your face, I, I think you're just trying to be an asshole. I, I'm not really sure. But as far as your question, 
You're going to have to elaborate. I don't know what the fuck that means. And did you see how defensive she got when asking that? How does it feel to be accurately depicted? Like, whoa, calm down. I thought you were just asking questions. Why Why you got to come at me with an with a aggressive demeanor? The fuck did I do? Every single show and film ever. Why is your definition of diversity a gay white man? And why does a gay man have to be white? Hmm? Why, why was... Why did uh, someone's skin tone have to be your, your go-to in that question? Hmm? I'm just curious. I'm just asking. Okay, I'm starting to get confused on these questions. Okay, so let me get this right. You're mad because there's not enough gay people on TV. I don't think gay people are asking these questions. I think these people are just, just, I don't know what they are. Hey, dude, there's... I can tell you exactly what they are. Trolls. They just keep trolling, 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 trolling. Just keep trolling, 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 trolling. Shows from a hell a long time ago that have gay people in them. Friends had gay people in them. Uh, uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, I'm, I'm sure that's a gay show. It sounds pretty gay. How dare you call it so gay? Pretty sure Roseanne had some gay representation on her show. As a matter of fact, remember when people made a big deal? On the original show, Roseanne, back in the 90s, when she kissed another woman, remember how big of a deal that was back then? And one of her best friends was a woman who... Thought she was straight up lesbian at first, but then, but then, I don't know, I guess she figured maybe, maybe she's bi. Maybe she likes both men and women. Because remember when Tim Curry uh, appeared on Roseanne, uh, Roseanne's friend was starting to fall for him because of his British accent. So she thought, well, maybe she must be bi. Maybe she likes both men and women. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. That was represented on her show. So it's nothing new. It is gay. It, it's called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Fuck, Will and Grace. Modern Family. I'm not even gay and I can name you gay shows, bro. I can't think of anyone who reminds me of me. Uh, you remind me of Drake when he was on Degrassi. The most that I had was Buffy. <laughs> and she was straight. I was taking more of like Daria. The other one would probably be the closest representation of a young gay Asian. Okay, no, Rice Gum is a, is a young gay Asian. <laughs> Why is it that you have such a large dating pool, but still a really high divorce rate? Well, probably because there's way more married straight people than there are married gay people. Duh. Mm-hmm. And who's to say that a gay marriage is more perfect than a straight marriage? I'm sure there's gay couples out there that have their issues. Don't try to pretend to be something that you're not, but then I guess that's something that you guys are really good at amongst other things i'm just saying because hmm? it's it's real marriage because it's heterosexual okay as a straight guy like a really straight guy so so wait a minute wait a minute they just legalized gay marriage so even though that's been legalized by your logic that's not that's still not real marriage if if to you there's it's still not a real marriage by your logic, then I guess your relationship ain't real either. I mean, you're the one who said it, not me. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm here to tell you right now. What makes you think that I'm just gonna show up to your wedding, as you call it, gay wedding, and just like have a pitchfork, like, hell no, we don't like your kind around here. <laughs> I couldn't care any less about a random person getting married that I don't know. Why would I care about that? Why do you have to call it a gay wedding? It's just a wedding. It's just a wedding. Who the fuck says that? Hey, did you hear about fucking Lisa and Samantha's gay wedding? <laughs> it's so gay. <laughs> okay, fine. It's just a wedding. Okay, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, I thought it was called same-sex marriage. That's what I thought it was. And I thought we, we used that term, same-sex... When it comes to weddings, you know, same-sex marriage, same-sex wedding. I mean, 
I don't know. I guess maybe because we're trying to be specific. And because you're so sensitive, we're, we're trying to be uh, respectful to you by, by being PC. And if calling it a gay wedding is not PC, then okay, can, can we call it a same-sex wedding? That way we can still be specific and still protect your, your, your fucking fifis. I'm just asking. I mean, ah, fuck it. It is what it is. Dude, I know, it's because they're both girls. Is it just so you can charge us more? If two black people were getting married, would you call it a black wedding? Okay, okay now here we go. You're gonna compare sexual preference to skin tone. That's apples and oranges, sweetheart. They just don't compare. Sorry. Okay, so what's the point of your fucking video? Because it sounds like you're making all straight people out to be like booger-eating fucking eight-year-olds. I mean, let's be real. Have you ever heard somebody go, yeah, I'm going to this wedding. It's black. It's a black wedding. Why do you try to set us up with the very next gay person you see? Well, as a straight guy with all straight friends, I, I've never had to set up, I don't know, a fucking a homosexual rendezvous. It's, it's had Maybe because we're trying to respect your life and we just don't want you to be lonely. Just like all our other friends. We don't want you to be be alone. It's like, okay, your last relationship didn't work out. Oh, okay, here's here's some other people here. I mean, go talk to some people. Be sociable. Bruh. Bruh. So basically, and I'm not saying this is for all of them, but for this one person in particular... I can see how it would be so damn difficult to try to be their friend. You try to look out for them. You try to do something nice for them, you know, because you just don't want them to be alone. But you know what? I'd rather not be friends with someone like that because there's just no helping them. Fuck it. Hasn't been a part of my schedule. I don't try to set you up with the other straight guy I know. Well, if I'm straight, wouldn't you, like, try to get a girl to go on a date with me and not another straight guy? That's... That's still gay on your part. We have Tinder or Grindr or... Uh, what, what do you gay ladies use? You pick me! I know something that you could use. Sometimes it does like this. Yeah, one of those. Trying to travel these states like a cowboy, babe. Trying to be the Charlie Daniels of the rap game, maybe. A country boy will always survive. I made it through racism, rights, and the internet alive. And here I am. All right, y'all, uh, so that was uh, Gay People Ask Me Stuff by our man Ryan Upchurch. And I hope that um, this certain Southern singer uh, watched this video. So that way she uh, got a little bit of insight as to your boy. Yeah. Don't ever judge me because... Don't, don't ever judge me. Don't ever assume that I'm uh, some kind of ist... Or a phobe because especially if you don't know me that well because you will be an ass and the ump will shun you and if you get the show reference where I got that from then you are awesome so anyways y'all all right man I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say this again this may not be the last time I'll say it, but I will keep saying it because this is something I always stand by. I don't care how you choose to live your life. It, at the end of the day, it's your life, not mine. Okay? And if you're a friend of mine, and if there's any way that I can help you out, best believe I'm going to do it. And I like to think that hopefully you can understand that with me trying to help you out because I care about you, being that you are my friend. Or if you're one of my family members, you know what I'm saying? That's going through a rough time. If I can help you out in any kind of way, I, I would. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who I am. I don't care who you are. You know what I mean? If I'm your if I'm your friend, family, whatever the case. If I can if I can help you out in any kind of way, because you know what I mean, I care about you, and I just don't want you to be alone and miserable. Then let let a bro know. You know what I mean? And if you don't want me to do anything, let a bro know. And I will do my best to respect your space. Because that's the kind of guy that I am. Alright? It's your life. You do what you want. Just like it's my life. And I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. 
You know what I'm saying? I wear my heart on my sleeve. I speak my mind. I speak from the heart. You know what I'm saying? And if none of that is good enough for you, well, then fuck you. Okay? Who the, at the end of the day, who the fuck are you to be judging me or anyone else? With, again, with the way that you introduce yourself to us here in YouTube land. Okay? A phobe is as a phobe does. So, check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all. Hopefully, you guys are digging this reaction. Hopefully, you feel where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? And as much as I'm feeling this uh, vlog from my man Ryan here. If you do, you guys know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. I look through, blah, blah, blah. I look forward to reading your comments, as I always do. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. And hopefully, I did enough for you to consider hitting that subscribe button. So you can be a part of Jason JV Ranger Squad. We'd very much love to have you. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my social media links here. And uh, you can also find uh, my music, you know what I'm saying, in the links in my channel bio. You know what I'm saying? You may find some music links in my, my channel description down below as well, or my video description rather, um, as well. And uh, if you want to simply just donate to the, to the channel, you know what I'm saying, help your boy grow, you know what I mean, by getting some better equipment and whatnot. Because that's really where all my donations are going to be going. All my donations are going to be going back into the channel. Uh, you could do that by simply donating to my PayPal. Uh, link for that is in the description on all my videos. If you can't support the channel financially, no worries. It is all good. You are still helping out by simply clicking that subscribe button if you're new here, of course. And, of course, liking and sharing my videos so more eyes can be on the channel. Because remember, teamwork makes the dream work. You best believe. I can't do this without y'all. I know this. I recognize this. And, uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything, guys. So, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying y'all take care. Let's, you know, respect each other, you know what I'm saying? Let's love each other, you know what I mean? Because there's already too much hatred in this world as it is. And I do not want to be a contributor to that. And hopefully, those of you who are watching this, y'all are the same way. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so, with all that being said, guys, y'all, y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, peace. Can't we all just get along? <laughs>